it over here. This is like an ultra fine rainbow glitter, okay? Hi from Delaware! We're gonna put some in here. Get your brush. Dip it in, dip it into the glitter. Where's that nozzle? Here it is. And then we're gonna pack it in. So that way she has extra glitter. And then fade, fade, fade. So it's like we're mixing a custom color of glitter. See, look how dope that is. Oh, so dope. And then we're gonna kind of like, not too strong of a like, smile line, but just to give it the illusion of a smile line. And then, how was your guys' Sunday? Let me know in the comments below. What did you guys do? I finally watched the new Saw movie. I ended up biting the bullet and paying $20 to watch it on Amazon Prime. And I have to say, it was interesting. It was a very different Saw movie. I honestly hated the voice of the pig. Instead of the little, like, uh... I don't know what his name is. The little guy on the tricycle, they have a pig in this one. And the pig, his voice is horrible. Oh, look at that. So stunning. Trinidad on lockdown. Hopefully you guys stay safe in Trinidad. All my love to my homegirls out in the beautiful Caribbean. I'm just gonna add a little bit more here so I get a really nice ombre effect. flash it really quickly with my little flashy lamp just for like five seconds and then we're gonna go on to the next one that blend is everything right at the casino and then I had my bundles redone too As you guys know me, I hate the roots. It defeats the fantasy. And pick up a nice dollop of Precious Minerals 44, which is that really fine silver rainbow glitter. And then go in and pack in Frozen. I feel like it had been a while also since we did a encapsulated design and there's so much fun to do actually they're really like I don't know therapeutic I guess Since you can 
little bit too far down. And kind of size it where she is. See if she needs any more, any less. Just put a little bit more here on the sides. Get a little bit more glitter towards the back. Give her a very, very ethereal fantasy. Okay, that one's done. On to the next one. This is the ring finger. There's Lena, always partying, right, Lena? Didn't you have a party for your sister? Really? So you didn't do anything to celebrate your sister's birth? Wow. Really? You gonna get crunk, Lena? You gonna get wild? You're gonna get ASU college girl wild? Don't you work tomorrow? Wow, that's the first Tuesday you work in a long time. Is it? Oh, well, it feels like it because of all that partying. Lena the Stallion, live in Houston. Do you wear foundation or a tinted moisturizer? Your skin looks so flawless. Thank you. I actually had a facial today. I went to the clinic that the girl that I go uh, go to usually, she used to work at, and she doesn't work there anymore, but I actually had a credit that I had to use. So I was like, well, let me go get a facial there and try it out. And to be honest with you guys, I mean, the girl, she didn't do a bad job, but she didn't do a good job. And she was really hard on my nose, too. I was like, be careful with the schnoz, because she's fake. And she just kept pressing hard, and I was like, girl, you're going to move the silicone implant. Be careful. I was like, I do not have like huge massive blackheads on my nose. You gotta be careful. But her facial was okay. I like when they get like super nitty gritty and just like remove everything. I'm sorry, sorry. Let's get a little Lux brush wipe. Blend out some glitter here on the nail bed. Goes in tight. Oh, yampe so, Juan. So the answer is yes, I do wear, actually I wear BB cream, I wear a special medicated BB cream and then on top of that I use uh, cushion foundation. So I, you gotta layer on the products. Saludos desde Puerto Rico! 
I have not seen Poe. Somebody recommended it to me, but I'm not a big fan of like TV shows or series or anything like that. So I haven't uh, really seen it. They also recommended me another one about strippers because they know I love strippers. I think it's called like P-Town or something. But I know that Pose is based loosely off Paris is Burning and I have seen Paris is Burning and that's a really dope movie about the New York ball scene. Category is Banshee. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to worry about like creating a smooth surface structure with the encapsulation because it's on the inside already so it's a lot easier. Especially for those girls that are like new to doing nails. Or for those of you that are super old like me and that everything hurts and everything's... What does Ignacio call it? What does Ignacio call it when your body hurts? Creaky? Creaky. I actually started drinking Omega XL because I see that uh, infomercial pretty much almost every day they play it on television. I was like, I wonder if it really works. P-Valley, yes. Oh my gosh, the French nails are so sickening, right? Let's get a little bit of this really fine glitter. This is BB. I'm sorry, not BB. Precious Minerals 44. A lot of people ask, can you encapsulate or do the design pretty much on the whole nail prior to application? And the answer is no. You want to leave about 30% of the nail transparent so that way the light can penetrate through. This is Frozen, so that Frozen is her cousin. And actually Frozen came first, so Frozen is the older cousin of Prisma. Prisma came later. Prisma actually utilizes the latest technology in holographic glitter. So Prisma is very, very innovative actually. So another little trick we're going to do is we're going to do a very, very, very thin press-on gel overlay on top of the glitter so that way when we put the pink flash gel on the inside, it will not overlap the silver glitter that we're about to apply, or that we already applied. So it's almost like we're sandwiching it in between two layers of clear. 
and it really makes a huge difference to because when we originally started encapsulating things, what would happen is if there was a gap or anything like that, the color that you would put as the base would get in between and it would cover up the glitter and it wouldn't look so pretty. So this avoids that. Man, I need a bottle of pure press on here. Man, it's running low. So is P Valley a good show, you guys? I've never seen it. crazy thick. We just want to fill in any gaps with clear so that way it really creates a layer on top of the glitter and whatever color we put on um, on top really gives you that encapsulator fantasy. Increase it for a few seconds. Now, comes the fun part, we're going to take Fandel 163, which is the pink diamond flash so sparkly, what does this look like, So we're going to take pink press on gel, I'm sorry, pink, press pink diamond flash gel, and you're going to apply it liberally on the inside for that Barbie fantasy, that hot girl summer. Look at that. Stunning. So, so stunning. for just a few seconds. Quick little freeze. I'm not sure that glitter is coated evenly. Ugh, so beautiful. I can't wait to see it with that with the flash. That's gonna be really stunning.
to apply now. It wasn't too bad, was it? So I want my nail to have a little bit more of a pink tone to it, so we're just going to do a really thin coat of pink press-on gel over the whole nail. This is going to be our base. Should we apply the nails with pink press on gel or should we apply them with DIY gel and clear? Let me know in the comments below which one you guys want and whoever gets three first we shall use. Upside down for a few seconds. We're going to bake it for about 30 seconds inside the dazzling garden nap. Got to make sure it's nice and even. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's bake it for 30 seconds. I see, let's see. Pink army, so beautiful. Oh, somebody sent stars, thank you. Come on, you guys, let's try to see if we can get up to 150 views too. Simply gorgeous, thank you, thank you, Sudi. These comments are going up and down like crazy. Let me try it on my other phone. Hold on one second. Damn, I should be hitting everything. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I see clear since you already have some pink on your nail. I see pink, DIY, pink, DIY. So we have one for DIY, two for DIY, three for DIY, one, two. So DIY it is then. The girls want to DIY first. So let's get Miss Clear DIY then. We're gonna squeeze out a little bit here at the apex. Wow, look how dope that looks. The Barbie fantasy. It's a little bit more DIY gel though. down firmly. Let's give her a quick little freeze. On the inside. Mm, so dope. Look how cool that looks, you guys. Mm. 
<laughs> Is it giving you the fantasy? Wow, stunning. DIY gel. So beautiful. Let's do the next one. What do you guys think? Are you living for it? Is it giving you the hot girl vibes? That is because the apex is higher, so we need a little bit more gel to fill in the gap. Beautiful. It's not crooked. Oh, look at that. Wow. Ooh, he's not making feel a certain kind of way. So let's bake it for one minute. Oops. And I'm going to get my other phone so I can see the comments really quickly. <gasps> look how cool they look inside the lamp. So dope. I see. Are you going to come out with different colors of DIY gel? Um, one more. We're going to do a pink, actually. We're gonna do a pink DIY gel that is actually really similar to a pink number three, and it is also very similar to um, pink press on gel. Maybe a little bit more opaque. And uh, two new sizes of uh, DIY gel. Well, just one size, I'm sorry. So it'll be available in two sizes. It'll be available in the standard size, and it'll also have a larger size. And that is actually in production right now. 
we are making the tubes. So what I'm gonna do is to seal the inside of the nail as well too because it is sticky. We're going to do a little layer of shiny on the inside. What's that? We're gonna bake the inside for one minute. And this is gonna seal the inside of the nail, it's gonna seal that DIY gel, it's gonna seal that glitter, everything to make sure it is nice and smooth and tack free. Oh, thank you. They're so pretty. I know, I'm obsessed. I love this pink color. She is the summer. So bright. Let's get our file ready. We're gonna use 150 today. And the shape I am wearing is XXL Sculpted Coffin. Beautiful. Make sure those sides are nice and skinny mini. Beautiful. Now we're going to blend in the cuticle. We're going to use the mixer bit. And about 25,000 RPM. Go in. She is blended for Phil. Look at that. That's why it's so essential to leave a little bit of space when we are doing the blending.
Look at it from the sides. That apex is stunning. Go in with 180. Okay, nice and square. So when you're making the nail super square, do short and fast strokes versus long and slow strokes, and you will actually get a better shape because remember, it's all about clear straight lines when it comes to the shape of the nail, see? And don't move on to the next step until you're completely happy with the step you're working on. So that shape of nail is perfect. Don't go on to the next nail, okay? Make sure that nail that you're working on is how you want it before you move on. And then you can move on to the next nail. never gonna notice so I missed the whole thing and are you gonna add stickers love snatch that's right I am I do want to add some stickers let me move my phone over here so that way I catch up with the comments better I don't know why my comment section is weird I even exited the app and still I was thinking, bye. Stickers or some diamonds, maybe. Beautiful. Let's take our smoothie buffer today. Make sure the edges are nice and not sharp so that way we don't cut ourselves. And about the top surface of the nail.
so beautiful. So what do you guys think? Should we add some stickers? Should we add diamonds? What should we do? Or should we leave it as is? Let's see what everyone's saying. Leave as is. As is is fabulous. Bling. He won't make chips in individual sizes. You can only buy them in the pack. That is correct. Fabulous. Stickers. I see one for stickers. Leave as is. That's a tough one. Which stickers would you add? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of diamonds, maybe? Just to like dress it up a little bit. <laughs> that famous sticker, the F bomb. Let's use. Oh, I know. Can't go wrong with this one. This is. This is, this is, our fairy stones in unicorn in AB. So let's get the famous gummy jump. Very, very famous. She's been around for a long time. We are going to take gummy gel which is the original gel for rhinestones here at inocouture.com. And we're going to put it wherever we want our rhinestone. either shiny or wonder gel. We're going to use wonder gel today. And you're going to frost it over the entire nail surface. Literally frosting like you're frosting a cake. And then we're gonna pick up some diamonds. I'm gonna use my tweezers today. We're going to use, this is diamond holic number 52, right here. I know this one for sure. Let's put her over here. And then these are our luxury diamonds. Have you guys ever tried our luxury diamonds? Like, if not, you're sleeping on them. You guys, they are incredible. They cost a fraction of the price of the Oski brand. They're designed for nail application, actually. And they have no lead in them, actually.
just a few diamonds. Nothing too too big. Nothing too exaggerated. I'm going to keep all that bulk of the rhinestone towards the center of the nail and this will help keep it really skinny too. Because the last thing we want is for the rhinestones to add width and bulk to the nail. It'll take away from the nail design and the shape that we worked so hard on. Perfect. Wipe the side, wipe the side, removing the excess. Give her a quick little flash. I think that's good. Very discreet. And now let's put Wonder Gel on the rest of the phalanges. And then turn the head upside down. Let that gel self level out. The blink factor is no joke. Daytime mom vibes. Very much so. Very like factory to you. Fires paredes. Pick and save. Stunning. I'm going to add a few more gems, one right here in the middle. Turn it upside down, just a few seconds. And now we're going to bake it for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Max, is there any trade shows you will be attending this year? I don't think so. No. I feel like the trade show industry is pretty much dead. It was so overpriced for both the spectator, which is the person attending, the attendee, and the 
exhibitor us. So I feel like there's maybe like other routes we want to try, but I don't have any plans to do any trade shows this year. I don't think Nail Pro Pasadena is going to happen or Sacramento. Um, and the Orlando show, I don't know what the outturn will be. I heard the Vegas show. I've heard mixed things about the Vegas show, but in general, I heard it was pretty dead. And then they were really, like, supposed to be really strict about everybody wearing masks and things like that. And then from what I saw in the pictures and from videos, nobody was wearing any masks. I was like, well, that's kind of contradictory because why are you telling people they have to wear masks and then they don't wear masks? I mean, to me, it doesn't really matter, but it's like, uh, it seems like it was really poorly organized too. Let's make sure she's nice and dry. Oh, stunning. What do you guys think? Closer. I that, you guys. What do you think? I might have classes. I know for sure I get a lot of requests to do a class in Southern California and in New York. So we want to do a class in New York first. And uh, the hotel that we always have it at, which is the Marriott Marquis. Uh, doesn't have anybody to coordinate any events, so that really sucks. Let's put a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil to hydrate and keep the phalanges moist. The blend at the cuticle, she is no joke. Ohio is not having beauty classic this year. Mask if you've been vaccinated. Well, they should make it the same for everybody. No mask if you've been vaccinated, sorry. I personally didn't want to wear a mask at the show because nobody will see my beautiful face that I paid a lot of money for. But I do see how it can make some people uncomfortable or not want to go to the show if people are not uh, following safety protocol. But then again, it is a trade show. Let me turn off this light right here because I want to get the hard lights to show you guys the flash. There she is. Look at that. And turn off this one too. Wow, look at that, you guys. And this is the Curve on the Sculpted XXL Coffin. Look at that. She is no joke. Wow, stunning. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Are you living for the pink flash gels? The sparkle is real. It's strong. The game is strong. Look at that. Oh. Just a little diamond, a little sparkle. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. It is stunning. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with the flash gels. They are stunning. So beautiful and so versatile as well, too. Which shape is going to give that? Slide edge claw curve. Uh, I think you're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way on that one. That's right. 
living. We are here for the sparkle, for the pink army realness. But if you do want, it's kind of a, it's kind of hard to engineer a nail that's curved because you're gonna have a huge gap in the middle. Um, and you have to reinforce it with something. That would be a lot of gel. So it's probably easier and faster to apply it the old fashioned way if you do want that very dramatic eagle claw look. Because even if you glue these at an angle, it's still not gonna work, so. But you can definitely glue tips at an angle and then overlay them with a lot of product to make sure that you have enough uh, strength right there where it needs to be reinforced for that dramatic arch. You can do it with Happy Gel, and Happy Gel is 25% off right now with code HAPPY25. Well, my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for today's demo. Gotta go on the gram. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.